I think that there is a lot of unexplored potential for bamboo as, as a biomass, uh, particularly for a fuel. Um, one of the, the things that we uh, have to consider is, is that if it is to become that kind of biomass, it'll have to be planted in, in great sort of quantities and, and there's a lead time in order for that to happen. So it takes about seven years for bamboo to come into production at full maturity. But the advantage of that is, is that once in, in production, you harvest within the stand only 30% of the stand. So you're leaving 60% of the stand to continue growing and the next year you harvest another 30. That means that your carbon sequestration is continually happening in the plantation with 60% of the biomass remaining. Unlike other timber trees which you are then harvesting and clear cutting that have a devastating impact on both the um, surf, uh, above ground environment and also the uh, below surface uh, biosphere. Um, and these are, these are very sort of subtle but important things to consider now. The, the other very important thing is, is that when you consider the costs of establishing a plantation, because of the plant density and the longevity of bamboo of uh, up to 120 years life cycle, uh, your costs of setting up and administering the plantation are up to 20%, 20 times less than that of a normal timber plantation. So there's definitely tremendous scope for, for bamboo. Um, its calorific value is, is comparable to the same as normal timber and it's much easier to harvest and extract than uh, heavy timber. It's not as dense a material but it allows for um, people without the use of heavy equipment to be able to do it so it, it, it creates opportunities for economic groups that normally wouldn't be able to uh, harvest the uh, or provide material for power generation. Once it's harvested from the plantation then it would be uh, extracted to a, a central location and then it would either be transformed into uh, torrified pellets or some other chips that would then be utilized for combustion and transported then in that denser format to wherever it needed to be uh, utilized. Ideally you would have your power uh, plants fairly close to, to where you are growing it, but it's not necessarily the case. There's many examples of pelletized uh, either timber or wood being transported or exported all over the world. So it's, once it's uh, put into a torrified type pellet, um, it's no longer susceptible to moisture degradation um, and it can be transport, transported with great ease to wherever you know it's required. Mm -hmm.